Ooh. Oh, it tastes like red wine. Guys, it is a hot and sunny day in Ghana. I am here in the Volta region of Ghana in Ho. What am I doing here in the middle of nowhere? We are here to talk to the owner of Volta Winery. His name is Harrison Ejima and he's making wine out of cocoa, coffee, cashew, just insane operation he has going on here. So we have come all the way from Accra into the middle of practically nowhere to talk to Harrison about this unique business. On this channel, this is what we do. Today is your first time. Make sure you thumbs up the video, subscribe, share this video and comment below. Let me know what you think about this business. Unique businesses are all over the place in Ghana and I'll be bringing you much more. But today, let's go in and talk to Harrison about how he's making wine in Ghana. No, why? He has a winery in Ghana. Let's go and talk to Harrison. Hi everyone. So we're here with Mr. Harrison uh, of Volta Winery. Hi, Mr. Harrison. Yeah, welcome. Uh, yeah. So we're we're here today to um you know just talk about your business right now and the process to know what you're doing. Um, we've had a lot of things about you and what you're doing out here. So if you would like introduce yourself to people so they'll know the man behind the operation. Yeah. Okay. I'm Harrison Ajima, the founder of Volta Winery, uh, a small startup business that makes wine from Ghanaian cocoa and other fruits. We also make wine from cashew and coffee, and we have several other products from cocoa. For example, the cocoa fruit juice, the raw chocolate nut, and cocoa crunch. Okay, so that that is it. Um, I actually have never heard of using fruit to make uh, any other fruit apart from grapes to make um, you know wine. So today we were going to get educated a lot about you know how you could use other things. So Mr. Harrison, um, we've talked a little, but where did you pick up the skill for creating wine? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I wouldn't say it's a skill as such, but it was a hobby I developed whilst I was studying in uh, Scotland. Uh, Scotland is known as home of whiskey, yeah. but they do other things as well. As well. Um, uh, while staying there, what I noticed was they were making wines from other fruits apart from grape that they call country wines. So as a hobby, I pick up how to make wine from black currant, mm -hmm. uh, strawberry and uh, other stuff. But uh, after studying the chemistry of making wine, I, I, I noticed that it's possible to make wine from cocoa also. Because cocoa does have most of the elements, even more uh, that is in grape. Mm. Uh, so when I came back to Ghana, I still kept the hobby of making wine. But a point came when I began teaching entrepreneurship at whole technical university and wanted to demonstrate to students the possibility of developing premium products from uh, the local resources we have around us mm -hmm. so it was easy for me to say that we could make the wine from uh, cocoa and other things around us uh, that's how we began after playing with it for a while uh, now we make uh, in my view, high quality wines, yeah. redolent of cocoa. We make uh, cashew wine that comes from the pulp of cocoa. Remember, uh, oh, sorry, of cashew. Yeah. Remember, the gold mine of cashew is not a pulp, it's the, the cashew nut, and the pulp is largely thrown away. Yeah. And the value we pay to the farmers is about three times more than what they get for the same quantity of uh, the cashew nut. Uh, for example, the farmer that supplies me the cashew wine, uh, the cashew pops, mm -hmm. by the time um, she, she earns 20 cities for the cashew nut, 
uh, we pay we pay him about uh, 60 70 cities of the cash for the cashew parts we take from uh, you need to if you take the cashew the cashew fruit itself if you look at the proportion of the par the and then now you could see that uh, before you you harvest uh, one kg of cashew okay, nut so you have to throw away a lot 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 of the cashew pops so if you find more use for the that part of the cashew we could actually quadruple the cashew cashew industry in ghana this is a giant experiment that has turned into you know something more uh, potentially uh, more. potentially more <laughs> i would say more yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah so where um so now we have certain things in front of us like the raw chocolate nuts so these you consider these like byproducts byproducts from the wine from the wine process okay so from the wine process you have now created a whole different line of things that you know are you planning on putting this on the market soon? right right yeah we are making tricky sales at the moment and we're thinking about how to scale up and once we scale up we manage to scale up we'll be all over okay yeah so producing wine in this part of the country or just in this country in general um Ghanaians, you know uh, most of our drinks are local drinks and when i see your packaging and stuff it looks like a lot of thought has gone into it what 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 is the you know the vision behind you you know creating the wine because you said you think we produce very high quality wine so is the wine going to stay in the country or do you plan on you know exporting it out of, out of ghana primarily sure the the to the export market is quite um sophisticated in the first place the first challenge we have is uh, uh, ghana itself is not a wine drinking nation right. Few people, middle class people, take wine once a while, and wine is consumed mm, on some uh, at parties largely. And most people who take wine uh, will want to take connoisseur wines, imported wines from uh, Greek. Mm. So we 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 gradually trying to uh, turn into the wine market in in Ghana. It's not an easy it's not an easy task. Right, yeah. um, what what we what seems to be evolving is uh, most westerners that visitors that visit Ghana find the notion of cocoa wine quite intriguing mm. and want to know more and want to taste it and if they taste it today they actually love it uh, potentially we see it as a unique we see to promote it as a unique product from Ghana uh, but not overly not producing a mass quantity to overtake uh uh wine from Korea. that's a, can be a long a long journey i understand so mm. just talking about um pricing so this is um coffee wine you guys yeah. this is very interesting it looks very clear though so yeah. it, 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 it isn't what you think it is i'm sure it's much better we'll probably do some taste testing to tell you how it is but how i'm seeing these bottles you're probably not buying them from ghana no no yeah bottles are imported yeah. exactly mm -hmm. so how much will something like this go for i saw the wine market? is selling on the market for the bottle is selling on the market for 20 cities okay. around who here but uh the wine market is getting sophisticated in accra most people are selling it for 20 uh 25 cities obviously they have to transport it and they want a, a better Make margin it, yeah. a better margin on so it this is also very uh, affordable yeah it's very affordable okay yeah. i see this is very interesting Sahar. i mean i just had um cocoa fruit juice i didn't yeah. even think that was possible yeah. it looks like the process is uh complicated so one thing i'll say if somebody wants to you know coming on the business or as you are scaling up, if they want to buy from you, or what is the way they can contact you or Volta Winery? Sure, uh, the, the, we are trying to get into all of this supermarkets in Accra at the moment. Okay. But if you are buying, and we have a shop in uh, Kanda Estate Choice Shop, for example, that stocks the wine, trying to get into Bachona. Uh, Total? Uh, Total. Uh, we'll see if we can get into the uh, shop right uh, before christmas but if you want to buy anything from a, about a carton of wine uh, you can hose up us or call us and uh, we will deliver it to um we're gonna go inside and check out the process with how some of the wines is making get some education about it so we'll see you soon Hi guys, so we're going to go in and see Harrison's operation. If you're excited about this just like I am, let's go. Harrison, 
what do we have here? Okay, so um, we're, as we were talking about how to make the wine from the cocoa, mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, you know the cocoa pulse. Yes. Uh, the cocoa is actually a fruit mm -hmm. and it has uh, beans in it. Fruit. So we get it. What the Ghana does is that we, we, we take the cocoa, take the, the beans out of the pulse and process it and sell as cocoa beans. What we do at Volta Winery is that we get a we get a pulse, take the beans out, and extract the pulse around the mm -hmm. uh, the beans and use the pulse to make wine. We could still export the beans if we want, although we are decided we turn into something uh, okay. something else. Yeah. So when you you, you, you this is the, our first process. Mm. You extract the um, the, the pulse around the beans and the first tissue around the, uh, the beans is white and sweet but inside the, the cocoa shell if you have cocoa the cocoa beans itself it has tissues around it that tissue is white mm -hmm. and, and it's liquid if you can extract that pulp around and drink it as a juice uh, that's nice but it's not the most interesting part of yeah. uh, uh, cocoa even if we talk about the juice Inside the, the cocoa shell and the chocolate itself, there's a, a, a there's a if you like a juice, tea juice just like we have with the, between the oil palm fruits mm -hmm. and the kernel. Uh, there's some cream there, and we try to, that cream is pink in color. That's what we try to extract to get our uh, cocoa juice, and we ferment that juice over one year to become. Uh, oh, wine. Oh, okay. uh, we began this last week, I think uh, it got to this stage as well today. So okay. it's fermenting now. When it's ready, it will turn into golden uh, white wine, just as you've seen. This is cocoa also. This is cocoa. Okay. This is cocoa. Just about ready to be bottled. Uh, All right. Uh, I think that's nice. So you could still have it. We'll open a bottle one for you uh, now soon. Hmm. That's a, the alcohol content is. Hmm. Let's go here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it tastes like red wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, that's also another thing about uh, combination of the. So below is the white cocoa. It changes the taste, the taste completely. Just like red wine, like yeah. Guys, that is all for this video. Make sure you contact Harrison at Volta Winery to order samples and to try what this amazing Ghanaian entrepreneur is doing with his skill in Ghana. Make sure you thumbs up, subscribe, and check the description box for details about how you can reach out to Harrison at Volta Winery. Take care. I'll catch you in my next video.